Hi guys, this is Kefran, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in Outlast 2. First of all, just open your game and uh, on the graphic option, go to the shadows and put it at low, okay? This is the first step that you need to do. You will gain straight up 6 FPS. And after that, I will show you how we can improve uh, the performance with the config file. Uh, to find the config file, you have to go in documents, my games, Outlast 2, OL game config and open the file ol system setting over there you will have all the setting that you can change in the game it's pretty crazy because you don't have a lot of option inside of the game but in this file you have a lot of stuff that you can move don't go too far in the file because you will see that you have like some uh, graphic settings for ipad the android iphone you like you see here don't just stay at the top of the file first thing that you will need to change all those dynamic so you can search for an example, control F, you search for the word dynamic like this, whoops, sorry, new keyboard. So all the dynamic stuff, lights, uh, shadows, just change it for false and you will gain a lot of FPS. Okay. This one, this one, just this by removing all the dynamics, uh, lights and uh, shadow in the game, you will gain 10 to 14 FPS. That's a lot. After that, you can look at small stuff like motion blur. Motion blur is not an effect that I like. You can remove it by putting it at false. And second thing, ambient occlusion and depth of field also is something that I remove when I play on a bad computer, not on this one though. And uh, you will gain here 5 FPS just to remove that. Other thing that you need to look at. It's just over uh, your resolution. Just a sec, guy. Uh, I can find it, so I will say shadow. So, like you see here, uh, alo image reflection, shadowing, another thing that you need to remove. You will gain FPS there. Uh, same thing, alo low quality shadow geometry. Remove it. Um, this is the res resolution of your shadow. You can lower it if you want more FPS. Sorry, I'm searching for something. Ah, this okay, it's over there. I did the modification and it went in the file. The all high quality shadow filter. Make sure that you put this at low too, but not low. False. You remove it from the game and you will gain a lot of FPS. Okay. So this is the file. You can change a lot of different stuff here. You have lens flare, a lot of different effect in the game that you can add or remove that's pretty good because sometimes the some games are just saying post processing and you can say i medium and you don't know what you're removing and what you're adding uh in this file you have a lot of different options that you can say okay yeah this i want to keep but this one i don't care because i don't like uh this effect also if you want to remove the chromatic aberration a lot of people are asking me that question it's over there just put false and it will be removed from the game um, so that's about it, guys. Yeah, you should start with all the sh dynamic parameter, lighting, and shadow, and um, you will see uh, how many FPS that you have. Uh, don't remove everything because you know it's an horror game. You want some shadow, and you want like I don't know. I don't want like, a, a game with the the gamma uh, very high and everything is white and everything is clear to see. You know, you you want to keep some uh, uh, gameplay over there. But uh, yeah. Just like touch the file and move it like you want and uh, you will probably get the FPS that you need. So that's about it guys. Uh, you can come in in the YouTube section of the video. Uh, post me your CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to answer the best that I can what things that you can change to improve your FPS. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye.